and hit the trail. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Woo now. want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Hey! You, Come on. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than arm Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. Come on, Mr. Marston. That ain't how we do things around here. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Deal. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. Damn coyotes, what a waste of good meat. <laughs> That'll work. Whoa. Let's go. Stay with me, Mr. Marston. Fort Mercer ain't easy to find. Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Oh, 
Whoa! Easy. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Go! I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. <laughs> There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Come on! Right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Drink, Mr. Marston. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. Yeah! Let's go. Keep your eyes open. 
and try not to get yourself shot again. Hey! Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Let's go! Damn coyotes, are back! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston! Come on, boys! handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Yeah. Here we are. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. 
No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind? All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Whoa! Come on! Whoa there! On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Come on! Marston, how are you? Good. Take the driver's seat. Come on. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. 
I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Let's go. Sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. I got time for this. How would Armadillo get by without me? Hello there. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Rattlesnake Fest is next month. Guess that means I'll be busy. Thanks. Well, thanks for driving me. It was not. Said I'm wasting a valuable. Like I was born. Yeah. Well, I'll be I'm a charming hell. Goodbye. Are you? Come on now. Come on out of your mouth. Come on, Lady. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Forgive me, sir. You hear Jeb Murphy at the gun shop lost? Let's head over to the saloon. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums. Led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better than carousing in there than out robbing. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. Damn, he's seen us. Come on, don't lose him. After him, catch me up. Let's go. Stay with me. I don't want to lose him. Yeah. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? <laughs> he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's the man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from.
Yeah. Hold up, Harston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Easy. on your right. I'll cover you. There's one behind the crate. Take him out. Nobody outshoots Woody Swinson. Just a bunch of women playing outlaws. Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Bastard behind the crate. place here. been working for the government, Marston. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nope, now nah, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land, bringing modernization and betterments to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Building a factory over a field ain't gonna help nobody I know. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're gonna suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Are you sure we're the Bollard twins, Eli? Sure as shoot. I'd know those boys any place. Are these the same rustlers who've been causing the McFarlands so much trouble? We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the Bollards. Ew! Everybody Stop. dismount and follow me. Let's move up the canyon towards...
to four. Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. while we still can. What the hell? Damn, those Baller twins have got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a problem. But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. It's over! Can you hear me?
We should cross paths with the marshal up here. Let's take that ridge! Hey, we got something! Are you gonna do something, Marston? For the love of God! For Christ's sakes! Your wrestling days are over! I hope nothing's happened to the Marshal. He ain't no Colt no more. Nah, he'll outlive all of us. Belt the last, that fella. Hold up! Let's stay in one group! You rustlers make me sick! More rustlers! Take them down! Well, we're done for! I played too shallow without a reading, boy! Let's push on to the bridges. Hey, no, we just hold them out. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna rip you up. I'll kill you twice, you son of a bitch. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free.
Excuse me. To Armadillo! Godspeed! What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Baller Twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! My God! Come back, Spanish! Please drive carefully. Every bump is like getting struck by lightning. Stop your moaning, old man. You'll be fine. Just sit and save some of your breath for breathing.
This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. Church. I need a rest. 